Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss how to compute number of function calls for Fibonacci number and also we will see how to find number of plus operations in Fibonacci number. At the end, I will discuss how to use these Fibonacci numbers for predicting the stock price in the real time environment. Okay? So, let me explain what type of questions they will ask frequently in the gate based on the Fibonacci numbers. It is the topic comes under stacks chapter in data structures. So, under stack we are having several applications, one of the application is called recursion topic. Okay? So, solving Fibonacci series comes under recursion topic. So, this topic is related to applications of stack friends. But in this video, I am not going in depth to explain the program by using stack, but I will explain the shortcut approach for finding number of function calls for computing FIB of 4 and number of plus operation for computing FIB of 4. In general approach for computing FIB of 4, we are using recursion tree friends. I okay? will quickly draw the recursion tree and I will explain without using stack. So, they are asking FIB of 4, FIB of 4, as the given input value is 4, 4 is greater than 1, so we are using third approach. If n is equals to 0, we are taking 0, if n equals to 1, we are taking 1, since n value greater than 1, so we are taking FIB of n minus 1 plus FIB of n minus 2, okay. So, therefore, it will be splitting into two parts friends, okay. It will be splitting into two parts. Whereas left part contain FIB of n minus 1 that value is equals to 3, right? And the right part contains FIB of n minus 2, FIB of n minus 2 that value equals to 2. Between these two, we are having plus operation. We have to continue this recursive process till we meet the base condition. Where the base condition of this algorithm is either n equals to 1 or n equals to 0. Let me proceed, friends, okay. If n equals to 3, it will be splitting as fib of n minus 1 plus fib of n minus 2. Right friends, okay. If I continue, if n equals to 2, fib of n minus 1 plus fib of n minus 2. As we approach to the base condition of the given recurrence equation, so, whenever n equals to 1, it will return 1. So, therefore, this function call will give value back 1 friends. Afterwards, we are calling fib of 0, which is meeting the first base condition. Hence, it is giving value back is 0. Now, this plus operation will be performed between these two. So, 1 plus 0 will give result is 1. Now, when we call fib of 1, it will return 1 based on the given base condition. 1 plus 1, it will give result is 2. After when we call FIB of 2, again it is split into two parts, like FIB of 1 plus FIB of 0. FIB of 1 plus FIB of 0. Right friends, since it is meeting the first base condition, like n is equals to 1, right, we are having two base conditions here n is equals to 0 is called first base condition, n is equal to 1 is called second base condition. Since it is meeting the second base condition here, so it is giving value equals to 1, it is giving value back 0. So, 1 plus 0 that equals to 1, 2 plus 1 that equals to 3. Therefore, FIB of 4 value equals to 3. How many number of function calls are there for computing FIB of 4? Just count here friends, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 function calls are there. So, therefore, answer to first question, total number of function calls for computing FIB of 4, there are 9 function calls are there. And how many plus operations are there for computing FIB of 4? So, total number of plus operations like 1, 2, 3, 4 plus operations are there. In this example, we computed number of function calls manually by drawing recursion tree. But examination point of view, we may not get that much amount of time for drawing the recursion tree if the input value is large value. Okay? For example, in the place of FIB of 4, if they ask FIB of 9, FIB of 9, 
then it is very difficult to draw the recursion tree for computing fib of 9 clear friends so for that purpose i am introducing one shortcut method for computing number of function call for fib of n clear friends okay so let me take the shortcut method so number of function calls for fib of 4 as we computed number of function calls are 9 and the number of plus operation for fib of 4 we have 4 plus operations right friends okay so now we are developing one formula for computing number of function calls for computing number of plus operations for that purpose you have to design the fibonacci table you know the fibonacci table right okay so when n is equals to 0 fib of 0 is 0 when n is equals to 1 fib of 1 equals to 1 if you want to find fib of 5 you take immediate two preceding terms right add the, that value like fib of 3 value equal to fib of 4 equal to 3 2 plus 3 equal to 5 so similarly if you want to get fib of 8 value you take immediate two preceding term values like 8 plus 13 that equal to 21 similarly fib of 9 is nothing but 31 plus 21 that equal to 34 this is the way how fibonacci table is generating once you remember this fibonacci table computing number of function call task is very easy for you friends okay let me explain how to compute if you want to get number of function calls for fib of n the simple formula for this one is you can use 2 times of fib of n plus 1 minus 1 okay number of function call for computing fib of n is 2 times of fib of n plus 1 minus 1 similarly number of plus operation for fib of n formula is fib of n plus 1 minus 1 you have to remember these two formulas friends okay for example in this question they are asking just look at here they are asking number of function calls for fib of 4 how many function calls 9 function calls we can directly compute that one by using this value see which equals to 2 times of fib of you take the value of n what is the value of n here 4 therefore 4 plus 1 minus 1 which is taking 2 times of fib of 5 from the table what is fib of 5 look at here friends if n is equals to 5 fib of 5 value equals to 5 so therefore it is taking 2 into 5 minus 1 which equals to 10 minus 1 that is 9 so the same answer we got here right friends without creating recursion tree we are getting number of function calls by using this formula similarly number of plus operations if i take n is equals to 4 which is fib of 4 plus 1 minus 1 so fib of 4 plus 1 is nothing but fib of 5 right friends what is fib of 5 value just look at here friends fib of 5 is 5 so that is 5 minus 1 that equals to 4 right friends so this is a way you can compute number of function calls as well as number of plus operation by using shortcut formula right friends now i'll explain where these fibonacci numbers are useful in the real time applications okay let me take one application is called stock market application usually the investors are using fibonacci numbers fibonacci numbers for taking investment decisions okay let me take simple example friends okay just look at simple example it is a reliance industry stock price it is a stock price chart if you observe there is a blue line right this blue line is exponential moving average line generally investors are creating that blue line for exponential moving average by taking fibonacci numbers for example if you observe here there is a one 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 number that is called 34 right that 34 is called fibonacci number you already seen the table right okay 13 is a fibonacci number 21 is fibonacci number 34 is a fibonacci number therefore investors they are taking exponential moving average line for 34 days okay so how they are taking investment decision assume this blue line indicating exponential moving average line for 34 length of the exponential moving average is here 34 they are observing that stock is having uptrend whenever it is a retracement is touching that blue line they are taking entry position for example entry position for this reliance industries 
which is at 2414. The first entry price is 2414. After taking entry, pro, entry position, then there is a uptrend is starting like this. Whenever it is touching blue line, again they are taking second entry position. So, again there is a retracement, then taking they are taking third entry position. For every entry position where they are keeping stop loss, they are keeping stop loss just below this green candle. Okay? So, like that there are three entry positions. Afterwards, if you observe here, whenever stock price closing below the blue line, they are coming out of this. This is called stop loss for this entry price. This is called stop loss for this entry price friends. Okay? So, this is a way how Fibonacci numbers are useful in the real time applications. Here I explained for 34 days EMA. Similarly, if you observe another example, for example, if you take Tata Steel stock, just look at Tata Steel stock. Here they are using 21 EMA, 21 EMA, where 21 is also Fibonacci number. Okay? As long as it is above the blue line, which is 21 exponential moving average line, so they are treating as a uptrend. The moment it is closing below the blue line, it is treating as a downtrend. Okay? So this is the way how they are taking investment decision friends. Clear? You look at another one, it is silver, it is a live trade chart. So, right now market is running, it is a live trade chart. See, they have taken entry position here, entry position here, it is a 15 minutes chart. So, they have taken entry position at 81,600. So, as long as it is above the blue line, they are continuing this investment process. Okay? So, once it crosses this blue line, they are coming out of that. It means that they have, their entry position is at 81,600, 81,600. Whenever it close below this one, that is 82,554, they will come out of the trade. So, from 81,600 to 82,554, there is a huge rally or huge momentum in this stock. So, the main intention is to explain here, our Fibonacci recurrence equation is really useful in the stock market for predicting the stock price. But remember, this is only for educational purpose. Do not invest based on the given explanation friends. Okay? Thanks for watching this video.